It is estimated that around 6.7% of the U.S. population experiences proteinuria, the high levels of protein in urine. These high protein levels in urine might not sound harmful, but they can be an early sign of kidney damage and can actually cause serious issues. Proteinuria often causes noticeable symptoms like swelling in the face, belly or ankles, frequent urination, foamy urine, puffiness around the eyes, and muscle cramping at night. And it can cause complications like chronic kidney disease, edema, cardiovascular issues, malnutrition, nephrotic syndrome, and electrolyte imbalances. So this is why it is important to manage proteinuria. While timely treatment can help manage proteinuria and protect your kidneys, some foods can directly damage your kidneys and worsen proteinuria. So, in today's video, we'll walk you through these 10 foods that could be killing your kidneys. We'll also guide you on the possible alternatives to these foods and how to add them without any potential damage to your kidneys. So let's begin. The number one food on our list is high-sodium foods. Did you know that high-sodium foods can lead to proteinuria and can increase the progression of your kidney disease? A 2023 study found that people with more protein in their urine, proteinuria had a higher risk of kidney problems if they also had high levels of sodium in their urine. This means if you are consuming too much sodium or high-salt foods, you might be at a greater risk of kidney damage than those consuming moderate or less sodium foods. This is because consuming too much sodium forces your kidneys to work harder to filter the excess, which can damage their delicate filtering units over time, causing permanent damage to the kidneys. High sodium intake can also lead to high blood pressure, another major factor contributing to kidney damage. It can damage blood vessels supplying the kidneys, reduce the functioning of kidneys, and strain them. And when your kidneys are overworked, or damaged protein loss in urine becomes more likely, signaling declining kidney health and further causing serious health issues. But what are the commonly used high-sodium foods which you need to avoid? Sodium is found in many everyday items like processed meats, canned soups, salty snacks, pickles, and fast food. So, what can you eat instead? Swap out processed meats for fresh cuts, like chicken, or turkey. Use unsalted nuts as a snack instead of chips. When it comes to soups, try making your own at home, seasoning with herbs and spices rather than salt. If you crave a crunchy snack, go for air-popped popcorn without added salt. Number 2. Red meat and processed meat. Red meat and processed meats like beef, lamb, pork, hot dogs, and salami might be part of your favorite meals. But have you ever considered how they affect your kidneys? These foods are high in protein, which can put extra stress on kidneys that are already struggling. This is because high protein intake increases the production of waste products of protein metabolism, like urea and creatinine, which the kidneys must filter. This extra workload can strain already weakened kidneys, potentially accelerating damage. Over time, this workload and high protein intake can also worsen proteinuria. In fact, a 2020 study found that eating a high protein diet can strain the kidneys, causing them to filter more blood than normal. Over time, this can lead to increased protein in the urine and an initial boost in kidney function, followed by a gradual decline. The problem lies in the high protein load from these meats. While you need to get enough protein to manage your body's needs, too much of it from these sources can overwhelm damaged kidneys. Plus, processed meats often come with added sodium and preservatives, which only make things worse for kidney health. So, what are the alternatives? Try other protein-rich kidney-friendly options like skinless poultry or fish such as salmon, which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids that support overall health. Plant-based proteins like tofu or lentils are also excellent choices especially if your potassium levels are under control. These options are not only easier on your kidneys, but also provide a variety of nutrients your body needs. Number three, high phosphorus foods. High phosphorus foods can directly damage your kidneys and cause proteinuria, especially if you are not consuming them in moderation. When your kidneys are healthy, they can easily remove extra phosphorus from your blood. 
But if you have chronic kidney disease, this becomes much harder. High phosphorus levels in your blood can pull calcium out of your bones, making them weak and brittle. Over time, this can lead to dangerous calcium deposits in your blood vessels, lungs, eyes, and heart, increasing your risk of heart attack, stroke, or even kidney failure. In fact, a 2022 study found that following a phosphorus-restricted diet significantly reduced urinary protein excretion in patients with proteinuria. This shows that lowering phosphorus intake can directly benefit kidney health. So make sure you are not consuming too much of these foods, which include dark sodas, processed cheeses, and packaged baked goods with phosphate additives. These foods not only contribute to high phosphorus levels, but can also worsen kidney damage and proteinuria. Instead, opt for kidney-friendly alternatives. Choose clear sodas instead of dark colas, and natural cheeses like ricotta instead of processed ones, and try making homemade baked goods without added phosphates. Number four, fried foods. Fried foods like french fries, fried chicken, and tempura may be tempting, but they can seriously harm your kidneys, especially when consumed in excess. These foods are loaded with unhealthy fats and sodium, which can increase inflammation and elevate blood pressure, two major factors that put extra stress on already compromised kidneys. Chronic inflammation caused by these foods can worsen kidney function and aggravate conditions like proteinuria, making it even harder for your kidneys to filter waste effectively. So, instead of frying, Consider healthier cooking methods that are just as delicious, but far more kidney-friendly. Baking or grilling chicken can provide the same satisfying flavors without the excess grease. Roasted vegetables seasoned with herbs offer a flavorful and nutritious alternative to deep-fried snacks. If you crave something crispy, try air frying with minimal oil to achieve the crunch without the health risks. By choosing these healthier options, you're not just protecting your kidneys, you're also supporting your heart and overall health. Making the switch to kidney-friendly meals is a small change that can make a big difference in your health. Number five, high sugar foods and beverages. While sugary foods taste great, they can sometimes be extremely harmful to your kidneys. Why? High sugar intake can cause insulin resistance and diabetes, both of which can cause proteinuria. Over time, High blood sugar levels can also damage the tiny blood vessels in the kidneys, causing them to narrow and clog. This results in less blood reaching the kidneys, leading to kidney damage. When this happens, albumin, a type of protein, passes through the kidney filters and ends up in the urine where it should not be. But that's not the only way diabetes can harm your kidneys. High sugar levels can also affect your nerves, including those connected to your bladder. Nerves carry messages between your brain and other parts of your body. When the nerves of the bladder are damaged, you may not be able to feel when your bladder is full. This can cause pressure to build up in the bladder, which in turn can harm your kidneys. So, here are some things that you need to avoid. Sugary cereals, candies, baked goods, and sugary sodas should be limited or eliminated from your diet. But don't worry, there are kidney-friendly alternatives that like fresh fruits, including apples and berries, as they are low in potassium and packed with nutrients. You can also enjoy unsweetened cereals or make your own naturally sweetened beverages, like infused water with fruits or herbs. However, besides cutting back on sugary foods and replacing them with healthier options, you also need to make sure that you consume these sugary fruits and other low-sugar foods in moderation. Number six. Dairy products. While dairy products are packed with nutrients, they can pose challenges for your kidneys. First, dairy foods like whole milk, cheese, butter, and cream are high in saturated fats, which can raise cholesterol levels and strain your kidneys. Second, these foods also contain high amounts of protein, phosphorus, and potassium. As mentioned before, the phosphorus in dairy can build up in your blood when your kidneys aren't functioning properly. This condition, known as hyperphosphatemia, can lead to weak bones as your body starts pulling calcium from them. Additionally, consuming too much potassium and protein can also be harmful to your kidneys. Now, what are the kidney-friendly alternatives? Instead of whole milk, try unsweetened almond milk, 
oat milk, or coconut milk. These dairy alternatives are lower in potassium, phosphorus, and protein, making them better suited for a renal diet. You can also enjoy low-fat yogurt in moderation, but keep an eye on the phosphorus content. For a bone-friendly option, choose coconut milk, which has low potassium, sodium, and oxalate levels. Number 7. Alcohol. You might not be familiar with it, but drinking alcohol more often can also cause proteinuria and even worsen it. When you drink beer, wine, or spirits, your body gets dehydrated because alcohol acts as a diuretic, which means it increases urine production. This dehydration can strain the kidneys, making it harder for them to filter waste properly and leading to even more protein loss in the urine. But that's not all. Alcohol also makes your kidneys work harder to filter out more waste, which can cause more strain. On top of that, drinking alcohol can mess with your sleep. And we all know how important sleep is for health, especially when it comes to kidney repair. If you're not getting the rest your body needs, it may slow down the natural healing process. So, what can you drink instead? Instead of alcohol, try hydrating with non-alcoholic options like herbal teas, lemon water, or sparkling water with a splash of fruit juice. These options hydrate and help your kidneys stay in good shape without putting extra stress on them. Number 8. Foods High in Purines Did you know that certain foods can increase uric acid levels in the body and potentially worsen proteinuria? Organ meats like liver and kidneys, shellfish, and certain types of fish like sardines and anchovies should be avoided because these foods are high in purines, which means that when these foods break down, it causes the release of uric acid. When uric acid builds up in the body, it can cause damage to the kidneys, lead to kidney stones, and even trigger gout. So, what can you eat instead? Lean chicken, eggs, and fish like cod or tilapia are excellent kidney-friendly alternatives. These options are low in purines and won't contribute to elevated uric acid levels. For people with hyperuricemia, the high levels of uric acid in the blood, a low purine diet is often recommended to prevent the formation of uric acid crystals, which can be harmful to the kidneys and cause painful conditions like gout. So, make sure you limit these high purines foods as much as possible and consult your healthcare provider about how much you can consume them. Number 9. Highly processed or instant foods. Are you consuming instant noodles, frozen meals, or snack cakes more often? While convenient, these ultra-processed foods are high in sodium, unhealthy fats, and additives, all of which can stress the kidneys. A recent study in 2023 found that a high intake of ultra-processed foods is linked to a higher risk of developing chronic kidney disease. People who frequently consume these foods are more likely to experience metabolic problems like insulin resistance, high blood pressure, and kidney function decline. Well, that's alarming, isn't it? Another study explained this connection between ultra-processed foods and kidney disease in a more detailed way. The study followed 14,000 adults for 24 years and revealed that people who consumed more ultra-processed foods had a 24% higher chance of developing kidney disease. With almost 5,000 participants developing chronic kidney disease, it's evident that these quick and easy meals may be doing more harm than good. So, what can you eat instead to protect your kidneys? Opt for freshly cooked meals using whole ingredients. Quinoa, brown rice, and kidney-friendly meal prep options are all great alternatives. Not only do these choices provide vital nutrients, but they're also lower in sodium and unhealthy fats, helping reduce the strain on your kidneys. Another simpler approach to prevent the negative effects of these foods is to limit their consumption instead of completely avoiding them. Number 10. Caffeinated beverages in excess. Do you rely on coffee, energy drinks, or certain teas to get through your day? While they may give you a quick energy boost, excess caffeine can be tough on your kidneys. Caffeine raises blood pressure and increases kidney stress, potentially leading to protein leakage into urine a sign of kidney damage. Drinking three or more cups of coffee daily has even been linked to a higher risk of kidney dysfunction. What's the solution? 
moderation is key. Stick to one or two cups of coffee a day and consider swapping your regular brew for decaffeinated options. Herbal teas can also be a soothing, caffeine-free alternative, while green tea in moderation offers antioxidants that are gentle on your body. Next time you reach for that energy drink or extra cup of coffee, think about the strain it might put on your kidneys. Choosing gentler, kidney-friendly options helps protect your long-term health while still keeping you refreshed. And there you have it, the 10 foods that could be killing your kidneys. But that's not all. We have some additional suggestions to keep your kidneys in top shape. Number one, make sure to stay hydrated with plenty of plain water. It's one of the simplest ways to support kidney function without adding unnecessary stress. Number two, while some restricted foods may need to be limited, small amounts could be okay depending on your individual health condition. Always consult with a healthcare provider to make sure you're making the right choices for your kidney health. Thanks for watching. But that's not all. Check out these videos too.